To balance the equation, AlOH3, that's aluminum hydroxide, decomposing into Al2O3 plus H2O, aluminum oxide and water, let's count the atoms up on each side of the equation. Aluminum, we have one of those. Oxygen, this three, it applies to everything in the parentheses. So we have one oxygen times the three, three oxygens, and then one hydrogen times the three, three hydrogen atoms. On the product side of the equation, we have two aluminums, three oxygens, and be careful because we also have an oxygen out here. So we have a total of four oxygen atoms. And then hydrogen, we have two of those. When I have these odd numbers here, it's helpful if I can get those to be even numbers. So let's put a two in front of the aluminum hydroxide here. And this two, it applies to everything. So we have one aluminum times two. So now we have two aluminums. Oxygens, we have three times the one. So we have the three oxygens and then the two times that. So we have six oxygen atoms. And then hydrogens, we have the three times the one. So we have three hydrogen times the two, six hydrogen atoms. Let's balance the hydrogens here by putting a three in front of the H2O. That might fix the oxygens. So we have two times three, that gives us six hydrogens. And then let's update the oxygens. So we have the three oxygens here, plus the one times the three, three oxygens there, and that does give us six, and that balances the equation. So the trick here is when we had those three, those two odd numbers, we multiplied AlOH3, the aluminum hydroxide, by a coefficient of two to get those to be even numbers. And then that allowed us to change things on this side of the equation to get it balanced. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for the decomposition of aluminum hydroxide. And thanks for watching.